So at this point, we have a Docker patched uh, image. Uh, let's see. Okay. So now I'll show you how we actually use it. So I have uh, I have this file. Let me modify this so that we can use it for our presentation. So let me copy this to here and uh, let me make another copy. And, and you will see why I'm calling it uh, small. So, so, so I'm creating an instance name 19c and uh, I'm giving host name to docker db I want to run it as user oracle and the IP address is uh, of this is let me give this uh, uh, 10 is fine and this is the exposed uh, port 1521 uh, and I am setting up this SID to kind and the uh, uh, port, uh, pluggable database to kind PD. And I am mounting this local folder to this is within the image. And uh, I wanted to use, uh, okay, l l let me use uh, this image because this is also 19.9. Uh, all right, so when I run this for the first time, so let's go to see what is, so we don't have uh, uh, that kind database here. So when I run it for the first time, it will create that database and it takes uh, uh, a few minutes to do, do that so let me go here and uh, let me start this in uh, uh, interactive mode so that we see all the uh, logs okay so So I am using uh, the image that we created recently. And uh, this will take a few minutes. So I will restart the session once the database creation is complete. Well, uh, it took a while, but uh, the database is uh, set up and created so let me uh, kill it and then restart so let's do it properly so i have shut it down Okay. 
Okay, so at this point the database is created. Now let me show you how we can make it more useful. So now this is the script. Let me, I have to modify it a little. So let me change all unkind to kind. Unkind was another database I was using. Okay, so you see here that I am mounting this from Docker image to here and I'm also mounting the DBS and wallet and then I'll show you one by one. So I first go to the drive where I have mounted the uh, the main all the database files and over here I create minus uh, p network admin dbs these four so let me go back to And this time, let's run it in daemon mode. So I see that this database is running. Uh, and uh, the name of the image is uh, this. So let's get into that image to do some more work. And this is the command, docker execute minus uh, exec minus it, name of the image and bash. So when you do top, you see that all the regular processes are running. And uh, it's very important to note that we are in the docker image, uh, uh, docker container that is, running. So let's go to so these are the uh, the files. So I will SFTP these files to the main server. So SFTP and the IP of the main server is this. So I'm copying files from my Docker image into, uh, into the server where, from where the volume is loaded. So this folder is on the server. So here I copy all the files. Now let me see where I am. Okay, so let me move the local folder to, to this. And also let me move the local directory to the same folder. So let's put all these files here. Okay. All right. So I should stop the database so that I don't uh, damage it.
and everything that I'm uh, talking about here is also documented at a couple of places. Okay, so let me let me stop the uh, container. Very well. And now let me make sure that so this is the main file that has got all the uh, volumes mounted properly. So at this point, I uh, start. Let me check, make sure that it is. Uh, OK, so it is running in daemon mode. You see here, minus. Uh, D T. Okay. So I have Docker running, and uh, all these files so this is the volume that is running from within Oracle, mounted from within the image. And uh, now if I have to make any changes in say uh, sequelna.ora or, uh, or, uh, or listener.ora, I can make outside the Docker host and they will show up here. So let's do a test. Right now I'm outside Docker in the folder. So let me touch a file and will it show in Docker? Okay. So now I will go into the image. Okay. And let's go to So you see here, this file I created outside the container, but it shows up here because I have mounted it in the uh, startup script. So, uh, and if I remove it, you will see that it went from the Docker, uh, the host file also. Okay, it's not here. So uh, uh, one last thing I want to show you. So let me go and uh, the script. So you see here, network. So I have created a Docker network. This is the definition of that. And I assign IP addresses from this network into uh, uh, to the Docker container. Otherwise, it does not run properly. That's why I had to do it. So let me see if I can connect it from outside. So let me create. Oh, 
I, I have an empty file so let me uh, let me copy from Docker's uh, external uh, volume. Okay, here it is. So the host is 192.168.1.45. Let me put another one for the main database and uh, it is kind. Uh, let me see here. Yes. And you must be wondering that from where this uh, this IP address came. So let me show you. when we started the script we are exposing port 1521 on this IP address that's why so let's see TNS ping and you see that it is working so when I do this ping, it is connecting to the Oracle 90C that is running in the container. So we have uh, achieved our goal of starting. So we created the database using this script. So first time when we ran this, because this was empty, it created the database and after that, we use this to uh, uh, start the database, restart the database and connect. So in the next video, I will show you how to create transparent data encryption.